Hey y'all, back again. Uh, <laughs> this has been weighing on me heavily. Absolutely heavily. Uh, so, uh, what's really been kicking me in the butt here is, you know, uh, this this uh, sponsorship request. Uh, requesting just a little bit of a uh, little bit of something here. Uh, I I want to do a review of the product, an honest, truthful review, but I also want to test its limits. They say thousand pound towing, they say off road, they say all these things, but the one video of them, uh, of the actual device in question is this guy saying that he is on this super bumpy trail that is through his hayfield. I think he said it was. Now, this isn't bumpy. This isn't uh, really a testament of its strength and maneuverability and so on and so forth. Yes, he is taking it up off the beaten path. But is he really putting it to the test? Is he actually highlighting how great this machine is? Is he kind of just soft rolling with it? My thing is, send me one of these. Send me one, preferably in the sand, color, the tan, uh, whichever. Uh, Oh, where is it? Do, 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 do. Yeah, the quicksand. Send me one in the quicksand because I, I like that color and it matches uh, many of my rifles. Uh, and it's also great for the desert conditionings because uh, fire engine red, eh, it's a little, uh, little on the nose for me. Uh, and green, I, I, I love green, but army green is, it's not really my thing. I am neon green, uh, that is my deal. And that's why I have my, my Moto Loot uh, green frog helmet and all the other fun deals. But as I was saying, like, send me one of these. I will daily it to and from stores, to and from the park. I'll take it here, there, and everywhere. After it has been through its 50-mile break-in period or whatever, uh, after it's gone through its break-in period, I will take it on a 200-mile trip. And I, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Uh, I have already laid out a uh, pretty pretty decent course uh, pretty much going through the mountains and stuff and taking the the uh, back trails because I I have on X hunt and I have on X trails and there are trails through the mountains that are not you know you know steep uphill deals but they are actual trails, off-roading and so on and so forth. Uh, my whole thing is, is I'd take it, uh, you know, Oatman, take it through through uh, the western towns with the donkeys and, and all that. I'll take it down Route 66, take it down Route 66, and I'll take it down to, uh, like, uh, what was that place? Uh, Topak, the... the big 66 lounge type deal it's it's a big bar restaurant pool right on the river take it over there let people take pictures of it and ask questions and whatnot you know how's it ride how fast does it go and so on and so forth uh take it up to uh the back roads that lead through uh a lot of places really here i'm gonna uh, I'm going to do another, man, I keep hitting that wrong damn button. 
I'll do a new window, bring that over here, and then I'll do, uh, let's see. Bring this up to the mappies again. Let's see. So one of the things that I, that, that I like to see is, you know, would I be able to take this through the pinion pines and to like the the Wallapai uh, resort? But I mean, it's it's one of those things like, will I be able to do it? Will it will it not make it? Uh, mostly uh, take it up through like the the trails and stuff around uh you know route 66 and the 40 uh there's a there's the oatman highway here i'll bring that over here real quick so there is this this whole back road here uh off the beaten trail here this 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 whole uh, path here this is the soon to be defunct gold mine take it around take it down and then you end up in Oatman well you take Oatman and there's Oatman Highway and you drop down and you're on the Oatman Highway which is the 10 take it down here you get to Golden Shores you get down here to uh, uh, Topak 66, Colorado River. Great big business, big buildings, everything fun, glorious fun. And, you know, I'd, I'd take it down this back road here. Because this, this is, like, huge, off in the middle of nowhere, you know, back roads and trails I mean, look at look at this. I'd be able to highlight it on road and off road in the same spot. Now, uh, as for you know trails and everything, I mean, look, look at all these these side roads and everything. Take it all the way back here. All these these little offshoots, but there is a main road. I can highlight its its travel. Uh, there's washes, side roads, side trails. But the biggest thing is, is the Polaris Road. Now, <laughs> Polaris Road is named because it is a Polaris Trail. Will this machine perform anywhere near as good as a Polaris, we don't know. We don't know until we try. And that's one of the things that I'd love to do, because, you know, I could take it down from Oatman, take it down and hit the the trail here and, and hop on and take that all the way down. And then as soon as I connect back down, because I'm not sure that it'll make it through actual mountainous range here, but we're talking, you know, 200 mile trip, roughly. I mean, I'd, I'd be going all throughout these trails and everything. Now, I do have my license for uh, radio uh, traffic. I have an actual, I have an actual license. This is, this is my General Mobile Radio License, GMRS. That's, that's my license. Yeah, it is good for until 2033, so I'm good there. But, uh, exit out of here now <laughs> we've got off-road we've got on-road we've got all these things uh, what I do like I one of these 
I'd get one of these, uh, of course, I'd uh, build up a little base and put a little uh, sidewall on it. Uh, I already own one of these. I already own one of these uh, gas dolly deals. Uh, it holds 25 gallons, roughly, so I'd have plenty, plenty of fuel to travel anywhere, really. I'd throw that on the trailer. I'd throw uh, extra parts and pieces, oil. Uh, I have a tire plug kit and uh, uh, air air uh, deal. You just hook up the air tank to it and, and put it on the tire after you plug it, open it up, it refills the tire, and you don't have to sit there with a hand pump or a foot pump, and you don't have to run a 12-volt pump. Uh, so that saves on that. Uh, so have all that. That I'd, I'd get. Uh, in Arizona, because they're street legal, just like a quad, uh, it would it would probably fall under UTV quad uh, insurance. Uh, my uh, Trailblazer uh, full year of insurance was one hundred and ninety five dollars, and that easy peasy. Uh, but uh, I think the cart that I had was. Uh, Two twenty to two fifty per year on insurance. Uh, so, you know, rough guesstimate uh, of that. Uh, what I have, I have it broken down here. So, um, I'll bring this over here. So, what we have here is the GKD three fifty tour. Uh, this would be a, a complete tour of many places in our area. Uh, MSRP of the machine, $69.95. That's, that's an okay price. Uh, it's, you know, it, it's, it's a real toss-up because, you know, some people see it as, okay, you're, you want $7,000 for a two-wheel drive. Other people are like, it's... Uh, side by side, so technically it's it's decent price. So you have that toss up. I don't know, and I can't really relay the decency of the price just by two videos of a guy driving for two minutes in a hayfield that's just like a rolling plane. It, it, it's tough. Uh, Tax title and licensing is going to be like 250 bucks. Uh, I have all the cameras. I have, I've got, hell, I got a camera up there too. Um, so I've got that camera. I've got the helmet camera. I've got uh, the two DSLRs. I've got uh, the uh, Ordro. Um, I've got the GoPro. Uh, I've got my phone. And so I have cameras, I've got lights, I've got like nine tripods. Uh, I've got all the camera equipment that you could possibly need. Uh, so that's all covered by me. Uh, fuel capacity, 2.6 gallons. We don't know the miles per gallon, so that's to be determined. But the average for a three to 350 cc engine is between 15 and 20 gallons or miles per gallon so uh going on the the uh the lower end of that your average is 30 to 4 40 miles per tank based on that estimate so going low Calculating 25 miles per tank, that leaves a little room for emergency if if need be. Uh, so a 200 mile trip, you're gonna need about eight to 10 tanks of gas, roughly. Uh, fuel cost, you know, about 150 bucks. That's no big deal for me. Uh, I mean, hell, that is 
almost one fill up for the, the truck that I have. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, uh, I'm, I'm estimating around 200 miles and that's not, uh, including, you know, traveling off road to, you know, highlight maneuverability. Cause you're going to, you're going to lose some miles per gallon doing that, but you're also going to be, you know, adding or subtracting, you know, distance. Cause if the road winds around and I can just go up and over on a trail, you know, it, it takes a little bit of, of, uh, oomph off of it. Uh, that'll test the suspension, the ease of use, the, uh, how the, it handles, how it controls on dirt, sand, rock, gravel, all of this. It'll, it'll highlight everything. Uh, so sp trailer, spare fuel, fuel storage, small tent. Cause, cause I plan on, uh, you know, taking this out and it's going to be, you know, like a four hour trap, uh, ride out somewhere and then rest for the night, possibly pop a tent, you know, in some public lands, uh, and camp for the night, wake up in the morning and hit the road again. And when I, when I do my, my rest stop for snack and food and whatnot, I'll do vehicle inspections, check for leaks, uh, see if it's overheating, so on, so forth. Uh, the, you know, uh, video review of, you know, how it's handling, how my ass feels after a, a four hour ride, uh, and so on. Uh, and it, it'll include fuel ups and, you know, cause if, if I drive, you know, 25 miles, you know, going 25 miles an hour, you know, that's, as an hour drive, you know, somebody's gonna have to, you know, get out, stretch their legs, stretch their back, you know, pee. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, insurance. Uh, I I have a tire repair kit that's already in there. So, you know, spare spark plugs. Uh, uh, you know, my lights. I've got I've got lights, but uh, I might uh, if I were to get one of these, I might uh, add on. Uh, uh, some, uh, backup lights, you know, just in case, you know, the headlights go off or something. I mean, God forbid it, it breaks like that, but you know, a, a spare, uh, a spare light or two for emergencies and whatnot. I've got flashlights and everything. I've got, I've, hell, I've got the, the, uh, big ass mag light. That thing is massive, super bright and everything. Then I got the other LED lights and, and whatnot. Uh, I'd get some, I'd figure out what size lines are running, you know, fuel lines and so on, or uh, whatever lines are, are running. Uh, get at least two feet of each just in case, uh, you know, repair patch kits for, for hoses, uh, oil, and that, you know, roughly about 7,500 bucks, roughly, I, I'm saying roughly because I don't know what's all under the hood and I don't know what's underneath the engine bay to see what it is because nobody wants to show all the fun parts, all the, all the stuff that people are wondering about. They're not going to spend seven grand on something to see what it looks like under the hood and whatnot. I'll pop it open. I'll get underneath it. I'll, I'll have the camera right there on it. Uh, so that's, that's how that goes. Now, uh, I did an actual, uh, deep dive on commercials. I did a deep dive on it. Uh, the average 30 second national commercial, you know, on TV, runs between $100,000 and $342,000. That's insane. So, $100,000 to over a quarter million. That's... 
that's massive. That is massive. Uh, I mean, hell, that's 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 a new new facility to sell these machines at entirely. So, uh, what I did was I, I broke it down like one one thirty second ad. $100,000 to $340,000. You send me one of these. One of these. The out-the-pocket for, for Massimo is seven grand. Uh, you know, I could, I could feasibly cover the rest of it because, you know, I have that ability and whatnot. And I have the time and energy and the give a damn to do it, but one of these out the door cost eight to ten grand, and that's 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 pretty pretty damn decent right there, especially because it's not going to be a thirty second ad. It's not going to be a thirty second ad. This is going to be multiple videos, multiple videos. 10 to 20 minute videos. Hell, <laughs> this one already is, is over 20 minutes. You you give me you give me one of these. I could do 20 30 minute videos. Easy. I would gladly gladly do that. I I'd, I'd do some shorts for you. I hate shorts. I do. I hate the one minute shorts, but they do gather attention from, you know, the, those with short attention and whatnot. So people do watch them. I, I, I have a couple shorts up there and they have hundreds of views and, you know, I'll, I'd, I'd make a couple shorts of it. At, uh, I'd highlight a few points. I'd, I'd use that that uh, funky app and that uh, chops up your your videos in, into highlighted shorts and then saves them and then you can just upload them all at once. I, I'd do that. Uh, that way, you know, it's more brand recognition. Now, here's the other one. I would I would add a charity of of their choice, whoever their charity is. Uh, and on my little trip, if I run into people, I'll have charity information. If people want to donate, the, they can donate, and then it'll all get donated under Massimo's name. Uh, I'll, hell, uh, I'd have uh, a QR code uh, decal made up, stick it to the hood, stick to the fender or whatever people that want to look at it and check it out they can scan the code and donate directly and it'll all go to them and you know that right there is a damn tax right off like crazy uh hell uh a nice tax write off for them a nice smooth ride for me i'd i'd take i'd take this out i'd i'd do months and months of tooling around this this one trip is going to be at minimum two days uh building the trailer that's going to be a day or two uh plotting planning and, and all that stuff it's going to be another day it's going to doing videos of you know the walk around the looks under putting this thing up on, on a on a stand and getting underneath it on the creeper showing the inside outside undersides <laughs> backside front side showing every nook and cranny that it has that's going to be a couple days and it will all be recorded and it'll all be uploaded and massimo would be able to use it as a stepping stone because People who want to buy things want to see it. They want to see what it can do. They want to, I mean, there's all these big brands that do these huge ads. They do all these, 
things. Like they're spending millions of dollars sending people into the woods to, you know, jump canyons on their bikes. Uh, they've got people climbing mountains in their in their ATVs and UTVs and side by sides and whatnot. You've got uh, brands that are, that are, you know, so widely known because every park and recreation facility uses them for picking up trash, changing the, the toilet paper in the facilities, uh, spraying the, the baseball and football fields with insecticides and whatnot. And, and you've got... Uh, other ones that are on NFL, you know, carting people around, you know, you, you, you got all these big brands spending millions of dollars on ads. You've got a smaller yet big company. It's, it, it's funny. Like the, they're a small company as in, you know, they're, Tractor Supply, Cal Ranch, and so on, but they're also a big company, as in they're national. So you have this this entity that is here, but everybody frowns on them because you know, oh well, that's just something you get at the farm store, and it's a, it's a kid's toy and whatnot. Well, you know. They have some pretty damn good stuff on, uh, out there. Is it ATVs, UTVs, go karts, golf carts, uh, dirt bikes, mini bikes? And they have it all. But if it isn't, if it like if it isn't something that that people see, they don't really care too much about it. People will look and and get intrigued by it, but. They won't buy it unless they can get a real in-depth look on it. And that's what that's what I'm offering here. I mean, the cost of one of these. At the cost of one of these, you're guaranteed at least uh at least say ten hours of video. One, 10 hours of video for about seven grand. That is millions and millions and millions of dollars. I mean, if I, if I can get this thing to go 200 miles in a two day trip, after the 50 mile or whatever break in period that the, the manufacturer suggests, then it is definitely worth that price. If I can make it, then I, I just perfect. Uh, I mean, I've, I've, I've literally looked into a ton of stuff, uh, like, you know, what I can. Uh, but there's a few big, glaring questions that really punch you in the gut that aren't on the website. There's not no information on it. And it, it's literally a, like I went up to Cal Ranch and asked about specific things, and they can't give any information because they don't have any information. I went to Tractor Supply and asked them for some information, and they, they're like, well, we don't know. We don't. It's not uh, something that we have uh, access to. We're not privy to that. And what I want to do is I want to get that information out there. I want to help the brand uh, get that recognition. I want them to, I want people to, you know, be able to comment and go, okay, what does this do? How does this work? And so on. And be able to, to show them, uh, somebody, somebody will ask, okay, how far did, did you get on a single tank? Well, I got this far, but I averaged about this speed. I, that's what I want to do. And you know, th this, is, this is my humble request for sponsorship 
And sponsorship is literally just one machine. One machine. And you've got hours and hours of test footage showing it in operation. But uh, this is this is it. This is this is another call. This is another request. I'm just hoping that uh, somebody out there hears my my plea. My uh, email is, is in my uh, my header, and it's on my account. They can uh, send me an email, shoot me a line. Uh, I sent them emails, so they more than likely have my email uh, somewhere. So get back to me, please. Even even if it's an email to say screw you. Something is better than nothing. Talk to you guys later.